Hello and welcome to my video tutorial on how you can create a photo gallery in your blog post using WordPress and specifically the DV theme. And so let's begin. Here I have my website and I am going to go into my administrator. It's uh, the WordPress administrator right here. I'm already logged in and I'm going to choose posts, add new posts. All right, so here I'm going to put um, my photo gallery. Just a descriptive title like that. This is a very important part of your page. So you always should give it a very descriptive title, not too many words. And the keyword or the key phrase that is the most important should start at the very beginning of, the, of this uh, title. So I'm going to pick use the DV Builder and I'm going to go here straight away to insert the column. I want to insert a one column. It's going to be the whole width of the blog post. And insert module, I'm going to choose the gallery module right here. I'm going to, you can either do a slider or a grid. It really is, depends on your uh, taste or preferences and I'm going to say about six pages per per grid. I'm going to leave the rest as, as, is, as it is with a default setting. And now I'm going to I have to make sure that I update the gallery or populate it in this case. So I have already uploaded the photos that I'm going to use are these flowers here. But if you haven't just yet, all you have to do is drag and drop. So let's say I have one more flower to, to enter here. I'm just going to drag it and drop it. And that's what you would do for everybody. Make sure also that your photos are not very large in size. Otherwise, WordPress or Divi is going to take way too long to resize them. So the, the highest dimensions that I would give is about 1600 pixels wide and about 1200 pixels high. You can give or take a hundred from there, but don't go on too much over that because it's really going to take a long, long time. So this is the one that I've uploaded. Uh, it's also very advisable to already upload this with a very descriptive name of the photograph. So the file itself should have a descriptive name. And this is not absolutely necessary, but it helps in terms of seal. So uh, you do that. Let's say this is my photo gallery. That would be my keyword. Let's just pretend. And that you would also enter in the alternate text. And you make sure you do that for everybody, all the pictures that you want to upload, or I mean, be part of the gallery. So I'm going to leave the rest with our default titles for now. So there we have it. I can reverse order or have it appear in random order here if I wanted to or if you want to you can just tweak them around manually. Also there's here you can enter a caption here I just put temporary caption but of course you can do anything that is relevant to your case. So that's it make sure to update and now make sure to save and exit. Now let's publish and take a look. And there it is, my photo gallery. So there is the, the, the photos that we had. Since we told them only six in the grid, it automatically created a next page. All right, so now I'm not satisfied with the titles here. So for that, uh, as you can see, the ones that I gave are a descriptive title, that's the title that is going to show. So really it behooves you to 
to treat those titles accordingly if you wanted them to appear. If you do not want them to appear, then all you can do is come here and say show title and caption and place it in no. Also, you can choose the slider layout, which is also pretty nice. And let's take a look. And there it is, the slider. So you can navigate manually. If you wanted this to have an automatic navigation, then you can come back and tell the system to nav navigate automatically here. And this is the speed for, for your slideshow. So each slideshow, I would say anywhere from 3,000 to 6,000 6, milliseconds would be appropriate. So for now, let's just write 4,000. And update. So now let's refresh. And it's going to start to navigate automatically now. And there you go. So this concludes my tutorial on how to create a photo gallery and put it inside your blog post in your WordPress website using the DVD. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thank you for watching and see you next time. And please remember to subscribe. Thank you.